Merhabalar arkadaşlarım. So this is like the 14th or 15th book I finished reading. Uh, I don't remember. This is actually not the most recent book I've read. There's some other books I've read, but this is going to be the most recent book I read that I'm making a video about. So I read this book a while ago and it was very good. Uh, it was almost, if not better, uh, than the book I previously read, Africa's Long Road Since Independence. This book, again, covers some modern history of Africa, but it also goes into the actual past. Uh, it's like 5,000 year history. And some of the things that covered are really interesting. It talks, it starts off with the, the Egyptians and how uh, basically the pharaohs, the way they ruled over Egypt and uh, talks about Egypt's rule over Sudan, uh, Sudan. And it also goes into the Ottoman Empire and how the, the Ottoman Empire had uh, their Memluks, as they were called, I believe, uh, ruling over the Egyptians and uh, as a result ruling over Sudan and also the Roman Empire. It talked about the Roman Empire. Uh, that's about as early as it goes. Then it kind of progresses forward. But what was really good about as it progressed forward is it actually kind of told like an interwoven story where as it would progress forward away from like Egyptian rule in Africa or Ottoman rule in Africa or Roman rule in Africa, it would then mention how European explorers at the same time were coming into these these areas and interacting with uh, different clans, different uh, groups of people, different tribes, uh, and making them sign things like protectorates. So basically, if anyone went to war with this clan, it was like synonymous with going to war with the colonial power. Uh, France and the UK did this a lot actually and there was a whole scramble for Africa where uh, I believe the Belgians and the French um, rushed to get a bunch of clans to sign protectorates so that they could monopolize uh, resources in the region. Um, there's yeah a, a ton of detail about how things progressed forward in this book which I thought was really really great. There's also the example of the East India's company colonializing Africa <laughs> which was blew my mind. I knew they did it, but I didn't. The actual detail of how it uh, went, went like went down, how um, it unfolded, was basically a perfect example of how if there weren't nation states to begin with, that private enterprises would absolutely colonialize uh, regions and form their own borders, because that happened in Africa, where the East India's company basically sent people to live in Africa, and because it was more sustainable for them to farm there, they then took over farmland from the natives. And since they need to protect the farm there, they took from the natives, they also sent private security, which was, for all intents and purposes, equally armed as the actual colonial armies. They had cannons, they had rifles, right? So you basically had a private nation state taking over parts of Africa and colonializing Africa. Uh, so that was a very interesting little uh, story told in this book. Yeah, there's just uh, even like the, the, I think the example of the worst foreign policy I've ever w read about in the entire world, which is the Belgians, with King Leopold II, who's mentioned in this book. Um, he basically, when rubber became a very useful thing, he uh, basically pushed everybody in Congo to take the rubber out of Congo, and that led to something like 10 million deaths. Um, and King Leopold II claimed he knew nothing about this, but it's debatable. And even after doing this, it took the, the Belgians seven years to actually get him out of power as it relates to foreign policy in Africa. So, yeah, this book is filled with lots of detail, is a really, really well-researched book, and I would strongly recommend reading it. There's also, he talks about the diamond mines in Africa, and he has a book called Diamonds, Gold, and something, something like that, uh, that I'm going to get. Excellent uh, author, Martin Meredith. Uh, but with that being said, this is book 15 or 14 out of a thousand, and go to shoulders.